everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today, I am gonna be doing a makeup look slash outfit look, which is aimed at you all who might be going on a first date. <laughs> I've had this conversation with quite a lot of my friends that are dating or starting to be dating again and, or, you know, that they're dating, and it's like, what do I wear? What do I look like? What do I do? And I think it's quite a stressful thing for some people to, to decide on the vibe. So I thought I would show you the my first date look that I had with my current new boyfriend. Um, again, I'm really sorry if it seems like I'm rinsing this. It's kind of not intentional, but also at the same time, I think it, people like really seem to be digging my new life shit. I find it really flattering that people actually find it useful and want to come on this journey with me because they're going through the same life shit. Um, so yeah, why not? But uh, yeah, so I thought I would show you what I, how I did my face and what I wore on my first date with the current BF. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Got my mug, which I think is quite fitting for a first date thing. Don't fuck it up, even at RuPaul. <sighs> right, yeah, wonderful. I look like a hot mess right now. Don't care, this is my natural state. If you don't like it, then you can't handle me at my old fucking hot mess and you can't handle me at my glam bitch state. The first port of call then, I've already moisturized and done my skin. I did that earlier, I had my wash, sort of my face out. Um, but one thing that I have learned recently to keep my makeup on all day and not go weird, actually using setting spray as a primer. A few people recommended this to me and I thought I'd give it a go and actually I'm a big fan of it. So um, I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I'm going to give my face a good old spray and let it settle in and dry and that just makes actually a really good primer and it's really refreshing as well, especially in this Heat. Now that is all set in my face, um, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using my NARS foundation. Now I feel like I have a small victory. Um, I've gone down a shade um, because I'm a little bit bronzed all over my body just from the sun. I did a little bit of fake tan. I am legit actually got a natural glow, and I was finding that um, my face wasn't really in line with the rest of my body. It looks pale. My face looks pale. Granted but when you put it up against the rest of my uh, body, I don't really match. So I've actually gone down to the shade Santa Fe. You know, it's not horrendously dark, uh, but it's just a little bit better. So I'm just going to dab it on with my beauty blender for today's look. So whilst we're here, we might as well talk, get on the subject of talking about date. And I feel like I'm turning into Katie Snook slightly. Did you know how Katie Snooks, the fucking babe, she, uh, she went through sort of a similar thing as me. She broke up with her partner. They were, she managed to break up before she got married. Lucky escape there, bitch. Um, and so she's been doing a lot of dating stuff. At first I was like, I really don't want to have to talk about my personal life so much again, which I don't really. Like I choose when I'm vlogging and he's about, I'm very kind of keep it really subtle. I don't really want to show his face much because I want to keep him as a person a secret, not a secret, but like, but like, you know, kind of to myself. I'm not gonna be like, follow his Twitter, follow his Instagram, like I have done before. I wanna keep very much our kind of relationship kind of private, but I don't actually see the harm in talking about subjects around dating or new relationships, actually, to be honest, um, because I know this is, an on, this is a platform that I chose to share my life on and who I am as a person to which people with similar interests and life situations choose to follow to kind of go through that kind of shit together and get like wisdom. Well, that's wisdom. So yeah, I did at first worry that I was gonna milk it or whatever. Um, and, and that whole thing of oversharing. But you know what? Like Katie does, I think it's just handy, it's helpful for other people, you know? You know, like most people that give life advice or, um, you know, or just advice in general on something that they're good at, they wouldn't have done it if they hadn't been through it themselves or got the experience themselves. So why not share the wisdom? I might make mistakes as well and say the wrong things, but you live and you learn, don't you? Anyway, now that my foundation is on, I've got, oh my God, I can't believe this is back in my life. The, an the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer from Maybelline. I got it, I'm gonna put it in ivory. I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes to make my eyes pop up. Looks like that don't match, doesn't it? Blend it in a bit more. It's my fucking neck. Honestly, the rest of my body, I'm looking into my arms. See what I mean? I'm like brown. Don't worry, this will all work out. It'll all work out, it'll be fine. I'm getting hot in here. 
Right, I'm gonna put this concealer underneath my eyes, if it'll come out, and on, on my bits right now. One thing I love about being tanned, or slight, like using slightly darker colours, being able to do this sort of highlighty thing. So I'm gonna blend that in. Like that. Ooh! Gonna put a bit of contour on, just a little bit. So I'm just gonna be using my Kat Von D contour, which is my favourite contour palette. Pretty much the only one I use. When it comes to meeting people, if you put too much pressure on wanting to find a person, I don't think it's gonna happen. I sound like, a, I sound like I'm contradicting myself or a hypocrite or whatever, whatever the work word is, because I did have Tinder for a bit, not for like actually using Tinder, not like I didn't wanna get laid, I wasn't using it for dating, I actually just wanted to see what it was all about. And I, I didn't like it, it was, it was, I didn't, I didn't like it. But I know people that have had success stories through Tinder or people that use it because, you know, they wanna use it and that's absolutely fucking fair enough. Like I'm not gonna diss anyone that's using Tinder. So I stopped using that and um, I was like, I don't really need to use this, I don't wanna use it. And then I, well, I didn't use anything or like try and talk to anyone for a while because I was actually fine being on my own and being single because I was really enjoying just me time, hanging out with Josie, girl time, like not having to worry about anyone. And it was genuine, like I thought, yeah, fuck, this is cool. I'm now gonna go in with my color effects, by the way, which is also, I used, I go over my contour, doing kind of bronze. Oh, what have I done? Using this guy, which is gonna be kind of like a bronzer. Yeah, so I wasn't really like out to look for anything. And then my friend, then my friend told me about Bumble and I hadn't, used it, I was like, oh, what's Bumble about? How does this differ to, to Tinder? Because I'm not gonna lie, dating apps kind of scared me a bit. Like, I was like, it's sort of weird, like, meeting someone online. Even though I said, like, yeah, people had success stories, and I suppose it's kind of no different to talking to someone on my, like, on MySpace, on Facebook. I got it, I just got it, just because someone told me about it. I was like, what's this all about? Because I was intrigued by the whole, like, it's for girls sort of thing, like, women, speak first so what fuck it let's just let's just go on bumble and have a little bumble we'll see what we'll see what it's all about and so i did i'm keeping my eyes on it it was quite it was quite uh, i might have to put a bit of, might put a bl bit of blush on actually it's all over the place but i like talking i'm gonna get the uh, blushy colors from the color effects palette too and just sort of dab a little bit on okay and now i'm just gonna put a bit of highlight on using my hourglass highlighter <laughs> Who was it? I think it was my manager. We were out getting beers. I was like, we're getting beers together, and uh, we'd have after a shoot or something, and we just and we'd had a few brew dogs, and I downloaded Bumble. And I was like, okay, let's see what this is about. Um, and yeah, I started talking. I started like, you know, liking people, and then getting matches, and then you start talking. And, and basically, the idea of Bumble is you have like an hour to talk to, not an hour. You have 24 hours to make the first move, i.e., talk to someone after you match them. So you know, I was just like having real small talk with some people. Hello. Hi, how are thou? How was your day? Ooh, the weather's nice. Shit, basically. And then there was this one guy that I was talking to, and uh, he was quite funny, and to the point, uh, not to the point, like he wasn't crude, like he was just like, he was pretty interesting and funny and kept making me laugh. And then my friend Heidi texts me, Heidi that's been in my download vlog, saying, um, you're talking to my friend. And I, and I went, uh, yeah. There must have been some gossip going on, I don't know. So I was like, what's he like? Blah, 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 blah. Um, is he psycho? Is he fit? Is he nice? Da, 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 da. She was like, yeah, he's amazing. He's like a brother to me. He's really nice. So I was like, interesting. So that's when I sort of thought, right, go on then. And then, and then, you know, talked a lot, swapped numbers, and went on a date. And then here I am, which is really cool. I'm just gonna use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I just set underneath my eyes. I always use a smaller blush brush for under my eye. And then I get the big brush to do, just dab it, dab it on the rest of my face. Anywhere basically that feels like it's gonna get sweaty. Back to the makeup. So I'm just also now gonna use my Kat Von D Signature Brow, new fave, and do my brows. So yeah, uh, I was, I don't know what it is with this taboo I feel around dating apps. I still feel a little embarrassed to say that we met on a dating app because in a way it makes me feel like I failed as a person to actually communicate, you know, to someone in real life, like to meet them actually in real life. But then at the same time, it's really fucking hard to meet people when you're older and you're busy and you're working. And like I said, like, you know, I wasn't really, I wasn't really out looking for a new partner. That wasn't my goal was to just find someone. Um, and you might say, well, why did you download a dating app? I don't know. I don't know why I did. Cause I wasn't bothered. I genuinely just didn't really care. But you know, like you just meet someone and you're like, you're actually really fucking cool. I want to spend some time with you. But I think it's just like, everyone's different, aren't they? Like you might have a dating app. You might people download dating apps just to chat to people. And I think essentially that's kind of what I was doing. I was like, I just want to chat, let's have a chat. But yeah, the taboo. I did, what I always do think about back to my friend Ben and Beth. 
Ben's the one that people on my vlogging channel thought was my boyfriend at one point, but I was like, no, he's my, he's one of my mates. Um, they've got an amazing relationship, and they met on Tinder. But I don't know, you can meet people wherever, really. Out, you can meet them out in, on, on the town. Might be a friend of a friend. Meet them at work, or on a dating app. And I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that anymore. It is hard to make friends, and it is hard to, find new, you know, relationships when you are getting a bit older. I suppose when you're younger and you go out more regularly, i.e. you're out, out more, like, I don't really do that anymore. It's easier to meet people. Or when you're at college or you're part of an organisation, like, you just bump into people, don't you? Um, right, okay, this next thing is very controversial. I know it's going to rustle a few feathers, but... Um, I'm, I've been using the Venus XL palette from Lime Crime. A lot of people hate Lime Crime. And I must admit, they're not a brilliant company, and I'm really sorry that I'm using this palette. But I got sent it in the post, and I used it, and I fucking love it. So, don't buy it if you hate Lime Crime. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying I'm using it. But if, if you do want to buy it, it's fucking great. Lime Crime sucks. So, I'm gonna be going for, like, a pinky look. I remember sending him a selfie on the day of our first day. It's like, this is what I'm up to. And he was like, makeup on fleek. And I was like... Oh my god, I'm gonna go for a pinky look, so I'm gonna start with a base colour. I'm gonna go with Scallop, which is this colour right here. I've got new brushes and they're so pure and new and clean and beautiful. That's just gonna go here. Oh, I've been chatting so much, I just need to get on with it, don't I? That one go on. There! Wonderful! I'm now gonna go in with um, a light, a pink, so probably Passion, because that looks really fucking cool and it's called Passion. So I'll use that in the corners of my eye, in the crease. Oh wow, this brush is amazing. These are the Fenty brushes. In the other side. I think also, it's kind of daunting, the thought of like meeting up with a stranger. Like I, it essentially was a stranger, because I'd never met him before. We'd been talking online and texting for a, for like a while, and then you just meet up. And I especially, so this is it, this is the bit where it just gets really risque, is he actually picked me up in his car. So I would have not, definitely, wouldn't have got in a car with a stranger that I knew nothing about. Like, if I hadn't, if, if my friend hadn't texted me and I did go on a date with him, I would probably have met him up in a place where I could have got to myself. Or like, said, oh, well, but I'll, I'll drive too. Um, Cause I'm just sensible like that. My dad, my dad always goes on about how everyone's out to kill you or whatever, so basically. So <laughs> I'd have been super careful. Next color I'm basically gonna use is Botticelli for a little bit of smoke. It is very daunting dating and meeting up with someone you've never met before and don't really know anything about. Because actually, like, you can feel attracted to someone when you're texting them or messaging them because you think, oh, they seem really nice. But when you meet them, that could all change just because you might not like their body language or the way they talk or actually they're really shy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being shy, but you know when someone comes across as like really confident and really chatty and full of full of laughs and stuff. And then you meet them and they don't actually say a fucking word. <laughs> this is awkward! So it's very dawning and it can be quite disappointing. I actually find it quite funny, the whole whole thing. It is quite funny, isn't it, really? Think about it. Oh, courting. So I just put it in the corners, just right in the corners there, just to add a little bit of more depth, a bit of smoke. And I'm just using a, a naked brush, brush with nothing on it. They just blend it together. I remember having quite sparkly eyes. So I'm just gonna take the uh, shade Ethereal, which is this metallic pink, and I'm just gonna pop it in the middle. It's like a like a halo on top there. Just a little bit of shimmer. So this basically is, I think, what I did. Mm. Wonderful! Now I'm going to put some eyeliner on and some lashes and some mascara, so. I'm gonna try this for the first time. I'm really excited about this. New Fenty liquid eyeliner. Get in my, get on my face. Really excited. I put some on my hand earlier and it went on really slick and nice. So I'm just gonna do a little cut I always find that uh, when you're using new makeup, it's kind of like when you buy your, a new car and you don't really know. You're just getting used to it. Like, where's the bite point? How do, how do the gears shift? Uncertainty. Am I holding it right? Oh, that is nice though. That goes on so well. So well. Fenty eyeliner and it looks great as well. Then I'm just going to take my perver perversion from Urban Decay and use that as my mascara. Yee. <laughs> I just remembered something. I just remembered something. I remember having smoky eye underneath. So I might just smoke it out a bit. This isn't normally the order that I like to do things. But I want it to be accurate for you. So I've just taken Botticelli again. I'm just going to put it underneath. Better. That's better. Just gonna put on my lashes. Now, I've gone for something quite fabulous, and uh, these are from Doll Beauty. They don't look like they are, but they, they're reusable, and they're amazing. They're great. They're like two for 15 pounds on lashes. 
but they're reusable, so I'm reusing them. One thing that I do remember though, I'm acting like it was like ages ago. It wasn't really that long ago, really. Uh, one thing I remember though, which was, which made me know, yeah, this guy is like legit and cool, is when I got into his car, I just felt completely at ease. Like, I felt completely myself. Like, I didn't have to put on a front. Or like, you know, you kind of, you kind of put up a little bit of a wall sometimes, or you're on your best baby when you meet a new person, aren't you? Especially when, you, when it's that sort of scenario, you kind of, you kind of do. But I immediately felt like I've known him for, for a long time. That sounds really cliche, I know. But it, honestly, I felt like I'd known him for fucking years, and that he was already my mate or someone, and I was just he's picking me up to take me to the pub. Yeah, and I think it's kind of a good sign. Face is done, I just need to do my lips and my hair, but I did bring my lippy with me, so I'm gonna do my hair, I'll finish with my lips, and then I'll do my outfit. Right, so my hair is curled. Bearing in mind, when I went on my first date, my hair was short, but now it's long. I actually did do really tight curls on that time. So I'm just gonna brush all off up the ones I've got here. Then, using this incredible spray from Evo, shabang -a bang dry spray wax, which smells insane. So that's the hair. I'm now gonna go get dressed and show you what I wore. I'm dressed. I'm just gonna finish up with my lips. So, um, your lip colour. The litre two. I wanted something that wasn't gonna be too popping. The look is done. Let's move on to outfit. So this is my first date look. I feel like I balanced it out okay. Like, it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard, but it doesn't look like I haven't tried. Start with a jacket on, just because I, lo I love my leather jacket. It just, it comes with me anywhere when I'm wearing a jacket. Obviously, I'm not wearing one right now because it's really fucking hot outside. I always wear my leather jacket when it's not sweltering hot. So this is a very me key piece. So I just thought I'd just be very me still and wear my all safe jacket. Absolutely love this. I then kind of thought, well, I need to look like, you know, I'm making kind of making an effort. Um, so I went with this blouse, which is frilly at the top here and at the bottom. Also at the bottom, I tucked it into my jeans. Um, that was the debate. Do I tuck it in or do I leave it out? So I decided to tuck it in just so I've got a little bit of a waist here. I put on a belt. I got my black skinny jeans in with ripped knees. Just think they're really cool. I put all my great frog rings on because I wanted to show off my collection, I suppose. So yeah, that was it. This is me on, this is my first date outfit slash inspo. I really honestly think you just gotta be yourself. You know, wear what you feel comfortable in, wear what you feel like you in. You know, make it look like you've tried a little bit, but not tried too hard. So I feel like I kind of balanced out all right. And I felt really comfortable in it. And I felt me in it. That was that. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it interesting and enjoyed my chat. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Farewell, bye bye.